Hello friends, welcome to the new video. Here in this video, we will going to solve y cube minus 3y square plus 5y minus 1 divided by y minus 1 by dv linear division method. So let us so here before we begin we will going to remind ourselves for simple division as you know there i have given a step three steps i have given first one was first term of dividend upon first term of divisor second one was the above question multiply by full divisor and third one is change the sign all that things will going to use it along with one more step that you will see in the video so let us begin our divisor is y minus 1 and dividend equals to y cube minus 3y square plus 5y minus 1 so as we know first rule is first term of the dividend upon first term of the divisor which i further simplify i get y cube upon y equals to simplified y square now second rule above quotient multiply by full divisor so above quotient is y square into i got y minus 1 when i further simplify I get first term as y cube and second term as minus y square. Now, third rule, change the sign. So, here we have got minus y cube because in the second rule, it is plus y cube. When there is no sign means plus, which changes to minus. And minus y square will become plus y square. So, we have got after changing the sign minus y cube plus y square. Our fourth rule, add above terms with the terms of dividend. So, you know our dividend is y cube. So, minus y cube plus y square first above term I wrote and plus the dividend we have y cube minus 3y square plus 5y minus 1 which will get added see here yes now we will going to simplify this so minus y cube here will get cancelled with plus y cube now y square and minus 3y are like terms so when we will simplify we will get minus 2y square then the remaining plus 5y minus 1 remains which will come down see here so you got minus 2y square plus 5y minus 1 now very important is how to write down this full scenario so equals to you can see the second rule above quotient multiply by full divisor i have underlined it so that will come first y square into y minus 1 then the remainder what we have got minus 2y square plus 5y minus 1 so this is the first step what we do in simple division also and in linear also let's move further again divisor we have y minus 1 dividend we have y square into y minus 1 minus 2y square plus 5y minus 1 but we have completed first step so that will go down separately so the new dividend we have as minus 2y square plus 5y minus 1 again same steps so the first one as you see first term of the dividend upon first term of the divisor so minus 2y square upon y which will be simplified you will get minus 2y second rule above quotient multiply by full divisor so minus 2y into full divisor c here y minus 1 when i further simplify by opening the bracket as you know minus 2 will get multiplied to both the terms of the bracket 
So what you get? Minus 2y square with the first one and second one plus because minus into minus will become plus 2y. Change the sign. So what you get? Minus 2y square will become plus 2y square and plus 2y will become minus 2y. Fourth rule, add above terms with the dividend. So equals to above term comes down plus our new dividend as you can see above underlined that will come down. Now we have to further simplify plus 2y square and minus 2y square will get cancelled. So minus 2y remains with plus 5y. When I further simplify as you know mathematical rule plus 3y and minus 1 will come down as it is remaining. So the next part y square into y minus 1 will get added with the additional term here. Again same way from rule number 2. See here minus 2y into y minus 1. So the remainder will come down. So our new equation became y square into y minus 1 minus 2y into y minus 1 plus 3y minus 1. Now this polynomial need to be further divided. So third step of division. Let us see here again divisor dividend as you have seen in the previous one y square into y minus 1 minus 2y into y minus 1 plus 3y minus 1. The divided terms will come down first one by second one what we have got gone down the dividend remain with us as plus 3y minus 1 same process again it will begin first term so 3y upon first term of the div divisor will give you plus 3 second rule quotient multiply by full divisor further simplify plus 3y minus 3 same steps change the sign minus 3y plus 3y so we have fourth rule above terms will get added with the dividend see here the above terms have come plus the new dividend as you see now we'll further simplify so minus 3y and plus 3y will get cancelled so what we will get See here, plus 3 and minus 1 will give you plus 2. So now the final, what I get it here? Again, same second rule. From second rule, we will get plus 3 into y plus minus 1. And the new remainder will get added. Our division is completed. Now we can further. So let us factorize it. So we have as you see what we have got y square into y minus 1 minus 2 into y minus 1 plus 3 into y minus 1 and the last term plus 2 is remaining. In that you will find first three terms have something common y minus 1 again second term y minus 1 third term y minus 1. I hope you remember they are divisors so we will take common see here y minus 1 y minus 1 from the second and y minus from the third what is remaining y square from the first term minus 2y from the second term and plus 3 from the third term what is left it out plus 2 which will come here now we will write down divisor which is here y minus 1 quotient y square minus 2y plus 3 remainder we have got plus 2 from where you got that we have got from there i hope you have understood the full sum properly and uh, you like it so please do share with the friends so that they can also enrich with the knowledge and do not forget to share it see you with the next video